Hello and welcome to a lesson on temperature where we're going to compare temperatures in degrees Celsius um, to degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, as we know, is how we measure temperature here in our standard system in the United States. So we use degrees Fahrenheit to measure temperature, where pretty much, again, everywhere else, temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. So just so you can kind of wrap your brain around some of the um, comparisons between Celsius and Fahrenheit. I'm going to give you a few situations here. So for example, zero degrees Fahrenheit we know to be extremely cold. It is extremely cold, okay? And zero degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to negative 18 degrees Celsius. Now 32 degrees Fahrenheit is still pretty cold. Um, that's actually the temperature at which water freezes, and so water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the same as zero degrees Celsius. So water freezes at this temperature, so still pretty dang cold. And then, let's see, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, this, this would probably be a cold day in Phoenix. So a cold day in Phoenix. And Again, 50 degrees Fahrenheit is going to be equivalent to 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, this would probably be a maybe a cooler spring day in Phoenix. So not cold, but it is cool. A cool maybe spring day in Phoenix. Or it could be a, a nice uh, winter day, as we're seeing temperatures right now. Um, and again, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, that would be the same as 20 degrees Celsius. And then 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, that's a little warmer. Um, that's the normal body temperature. That is our normal operating body temperature. And so we say that, that our bodies operate at... Uh, 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to 37 degrees Celsius. Um, and then 100 degrees Celsius, this is the temperature at which water boils. So water boils at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And then 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's, you know, like a common cooking temperature. A common, um, maybe baking, I'll say is a better word there. A common temperature for baking, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to 177 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the numbers look a little smaller on the Celsius side. Now we have a couple of formulas if we wanted to be able to convert from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So if it's Celsius to Fahrenheit, that means you're going to be given a temperature in Celsius to plug in, and it will calculate, this formula will calculate for you the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So if you want to go to Fahrenheit, you're going to plug in a temperature in Celsius. And then if you want to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, so if you got to go to Celsius, then you're going to be given a Fahrenheit, you're going to plug that in there for F, and you're going to calculate the degrees of Celsius. So if you're trying to go to Celsius, use the C equals formula. And if you're trying to go to Fahrenheit, use the F equals formula. Okay, so let's practice using the formula. That's basically all we're going to be doing in this lesson. Um, practice converting from one to another. So 115 degrees Fahrenheit. That'd be a typical summer day in Phoenix, right? So we know the temperature in Fahrenheit. We're going to Celsius. We want the C equals formula. So we're looking at 5 ninths times in parentheses, which are important. The Fahrenheit temperature is 115, and then we subtract 32. So we're just replacing Fahrenheit here, okay? So this from here, would I would say just put it into the calculator. So 5 ninths that way we don't have to worry about, you know, making any human error. Although sometimes I mess up just putting stuff in the calculator so human error can still happen, but maybe we eliminate some of it. So this is exactly 46.1 repeating. So we're going to say this Celsius is approximately, I'm going to use my squiggly equal, it's about 46.1 degrees. Okay? Let's try going in reverse. Okay, and number two, we have a degree Celsius and we want to go to Fahrenheit. So we're going to use our F equals formula. So if we are given Celsius again, we're going to plug that in for C. So I'm just going to replace C here. Now notice there are no parentheses in this formula. It's just going to be 9 fifths times C, for which we are replacing with 80. And then we're going to add 32. So again, let's go to our calculator, 9 fifths. And then we're going to multiply by 80, 
And then we're going to add 32. I swear I'm hitting the plus. Okay, and then we end up with exactly 176 degrees. So 80 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. And 115 degrees Fahrenheit is approximately equal to 46.1 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay? All right, so a couple more just to practice using the formula. I put a little, you know, bit of wording in here, but it's really the same concept. Um, so the temperature to bake cupcakes is 450 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that equivalent to in Celsius? So we want to go to Celsius. That's the C equals formula. And C equals, remember, 5 ninths, and then parentheses F minus 32. So we have 5 ninths. And then parentheses are Fahrenheit minus 32. So in this case, 5 ninths times 450 minus 32. And we'll go calculator from there. So 5 over 9 and parentheses 450 minus 32. Wow. Uh, and we get exactly 232.2 repeating, which is approximately 232.2 degrees. Okay? I know, it's just pretty simple. Um, if temperature outside is 28 degrees Celsius, I have no idea what that is Fahrenheit, so let's convert. Convert to a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So that's our F equals formula, and this time it's 9 fifths times C and then plus 32. So that's going to be 9 fifths times 28 plus 32. And we calculate her from there. And since I already typed it into this one, I'm just going to cheat a little. Place that with 28. We get 82.4. So 82.4 degrees. And this was um, Celsius here and Fahrenheit here. Temperature outside, if it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit, well, based on the previous problem, it's going to be pretty close to 28 degrees Celsius, but let's go ahead and just practice using that formula again. So C is going to equal 5 ninths, and then parentheses, um, F minus 32 are Fahrenheit, 82 minus 32. So 5 ninths times, if we take out this, put 82 minus 32, 27.7 repeating, so it's exactly 27.7 repeating, which is approximately 27.8 degrees Celsius. Uh, since it's a 7 repeating, it's going to be 7's following the 7, right? Which the 7 would round this to an 8. That's why I have the point 8 there. Alright, last one. If you want to pause the video and give it a shot, this will be the last thing you've got to do here. Um, if the temperature in a hot tub is 40 degrees Celsius, I'm assuming it's going to be warm, but let's calculate. In Fahrenheit, what would that be? It's going to be 9 fifths times 40 and then plus 32. And 9 fifths times, instead of 28, let's put a 40 in here. That's 104 degrees, exactly. 104 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Okay, so converting temperatures using a formula, really not so bad. The calculator is going to do the, the hard work for you. And this is really just to help you wrap your brain around some common temperatures that we see or be able to convert if necessary. Okay, so I think you got enough to get going on your practice, but as always, reach out if you need some extra help. All right, take care.